Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of What is in Our Stand Today. Hashtag you can follow across all social media. Hashtag what is in our stand today. Today I have a tri bike from a good and local customer to me and he had some issues with the chain falling off and also the chain was like super slack and he was like, this is weird, what's going on? Well, let me show you what was going on. There are a couple of springs on these derailleurs. And in particular, this right here is called the B axle assembly. And then there's a spring here for this cage, right? So one spring does this for the entire body and then the other spring is just for the pulley assembly. Well, as a quick fix, because it took time, things were on back order. For as a quick fix, I did drop some lube inside the B axle assembly and also down inside here. I unthreaded the bolt a little bit and put some chain lube in there just to kind of get him through. So, but he's got a couple of important races coming up. So he said, look, let's just replace it. So let me show you what we have to replace it. And unfortunately I won't actually be able to do the service um, because I don't have anyone to film me. All right, so this here is the plate assembly bolt and spring. So you see that there, and I'm going to pause, or you can pause this so you can get a part number off of this. All right, so there's that's that's the uh, bolt and spring right there. And then this would be if you wanted to change the cage or part of the cage. Now, as an interesting side note, if you wanted to, you could take a short cage derailleur like this and turn it into a long cage derailleur by buying the long cage, um, the longer GS part number and then you get um you know it, it increased cassette uh capability so instead of let's just say uh, maxing out at 1128 you could max out at maybe 1132 or 1134 so just so you could see the parts here this is what we're talking about so this right here number one number one is the b axle assembly right and so this lock ring this this the spring and this bolt all of this will come together in part number one and we'll show that here in a minute and then what we're going to replace today is number four so this bolt which holds the cage in um, in place inside here as I showed you on the physical um, on the derailleur that's attached to the bike okay so if you scroll here these will be the part numbers you need so the B axle assembly right here ends in 8010 and then we're also doing number four the plate assembly so that's where you see the SS for short cage and the GS for so these two right here that if you decide to replace a short cage to a GS cage you would need these two part numbers and this diagram is for the 6870 which is a DI2 Ultegra but if you look here you can use some of the parts on your R6800. So A means same parts, right? So here's the legend for the, the, the chart that we're looking at. A, same parts, or B, maybe you could use them, but they just look a little different, right? So, but this is A, so that's compatible if you do the B axle assembly, right? And the plate assemblies are not interchangeable between the DI2 version and the 6800. So, but that's just a really quick video for you today. 
if for some reason your spring or the action just isn't um, as responsive as it used to be, you can replace number one for your B axle or number four for the spring that um, works with your cage. And then again, you can switch from a short cage to a long cage rear derailleur if you have the right parts. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you up the road.